Now, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who's guilty of this, but don't tell me that when you're Christmas shopping on Black Friday, you don't end up finding things for yourself. Because I for sure did that. Hit the like button if you are guilty of shopping for yourself on Black Friday, like me. And if not, what did you do on Black Friday? Now, I really need to stop buying puzzles <laughs> because my collection just continues to grow and grow and grow. So it's quite clear that I have a problem. Well, I mean, I wouldn't consider it a problem. Really, I shouldn't be too hard on myself because puzzles are really kind of like my therapy, my way to de-stress. So, you know, I kind of feel like I shouldn't feel too bad, right? Purchasing things that help me to relax and feel better. Does that justify it? So like my last puzzle haul video, I kind of set myself up, you know, a limit and kind of some criteria as to what I was going to be searching for. So I wasn't just going crazy on whatever. So I made sure that whatever I picked up was a very good price and also from a collection series or brand that I didn't currently have. So here is what I picked up from Amazon's Black Friday sale. So our first one today is from the brand Seiko. This is from Thomas Kincaid Studios Justice League. And this one is 1,000 pieces. It is called Batman Gotham City. And it is 26.6 by 19 inches when it's completed. And I'm really excited because it does come with a poster. Now, why Batman? Well, for one, me and Batman go way back. Batman is absolutely my favorite favorite comic book superhero. And confession time, he was actually my very first crush. Now let me make something very clear here. When I say Batman was my first crush, I'm not talking about Bruce Wayne. I don't care about Bruce Wayne. I'm talking about Batman in his outfit. I mean, come on, just look at this image here a second. Dressed in black, his cape is billowing behind him. He looks amazing, so mysterious. I was extremely young. I had to have been about seven, eight years old. And I just remember seeing him and I realized that was it. Batman was it. That was kind of like my awakening, if that makes any sense. Do you have a silly first crush or is that just because I'm weird, strange? Is that weird? Anyways, that was some very revealing stuff about me. But yeah, I mean, going back to this image, for one, it's Thomas Kincaid, so the artwork is perfection. Now, instead of there being so much light in the background, Batman is always dark and gritty, and this image is just the epitome of what symbolizes Batman. He's falling from somewhere with his cape flowing behind him. You have some of the villains scattered throughout the image, which is really, really cool. This one's gonna be really fun. I can't wait to do this one. Let's move on. I can keep going on about Batman. So the next one that we have is from my current favorite brand, Buffalo. And this one is from the Chuck Pinson collection. And I don't have anything from this artist yet. So this is my first one. And this one is called Island Time. It's 1000 pieces. And when it is completed, it is 26.75 by 19.75 inches. Now I'm gonna be honest, I'm not very much of a beach going person because I'm not a sun worshiper. I don't like the heat. But this particular beach just looked very inviting to me. It doesn't look that hot to be honest. You have these beautiful little houses right on the shore. I can tell you right now, that blue house right there, that's my house. I go there in the summer times. I can sit on my porch and have a cup of coffee and then when I feel like getting my toes in the sand, just go walk to one of the beach chairs and just sit down and have a drink. And then later on, I'll I'll just take my little sailboat out for a ride. I told you I always have a boat. Now I don't know anything yet about Chuck Pinson. I will look more into it when I complete this puzzle for a video. But so far I love the artwork. He has great use of colors, um, the scenery, the images, it's the details, it's very pretty. So I'm looking forward to this one. The next one that we have is another puzzle from Buffalo Games. And this one is my first of the Vivid Collection. And this one is called Places You Will Go. It's 1,000 pieces and is 26.75 by 19.75 inches when it's completed. And the reason why I chose this puzzle was for one, the colors are super bright. They're 
I mean, basically what the collection is called. They're vivid. So I'm guessing that's basically the whole point of this particular series in the Buffalo Games. The title stuck out to me as well. Places you will go. I love to travel. If I had the money, I swear, I would be going somewhere every single week. So this one really gave me some feels. You have six different images on this puzzle of basically different types of trips i'm guessing we have a camping trip we have what looks like a caravan trip there's me you know in my yellow bikini at a lake somewhere with beautiful mountains i'm hiking up there i'm on a camping trip with the dog i don't own and that's definitely me sat on the edge of a cliff well actually no i take that back i you would not catch me sitting on the edge of a cliff like that i'm too scared for that kind of stuff my anxiety would not allow that. But yeah, the one on the bottom, the beautiful camping with the sunset in the background. Like looking at these images just makes me want to pack my bags and go somewhere. I would do anything to go somewhere right now. But yeah, I'm really excited to look into more of the Vivid collection and see what other images they have. And lastly, we have a puzzle from the company Timger. Timger? I am not sure, to be honest. I'm going to put it up on the screen here and you guys tell me if you know what I'm talking about or if you have one of these puzzles. And this one is called River Bite and it is 500 pieces and it is 20 by 14.5 inches when it's completed. Now, I've never heard of this brand before, hence why I picked it up. But the box itself doesn't have any other information on it. The, the back is blank, but the image in the front is very pretty. I don't exactly know where this image is from, what country it's from, but this looks like a really pretty little town. Like looking at this image, I feel like I'm stood on the bridge just looking down the river and just taking in the beautiful sunrise. This just seemed very peaceful to me. You don't see anybody around, which is quite nice sometimes. So yeah, I'd be curious about the quality of this puzzle. I'm gonna try to find more on this company if I could, you know, make out how to say it or what it is. So I hope this brand is a good one. I'd be interested to learn more about it and get some more of their puzzle sets. Well guys, I know I need to stop constantly shopping for more puzzles and actually start doing more puzzles. I also plan to do some other puzzle related videos as well. So if you guys have any suggestions of videos you would like for me to do, please let me know in the comments and I'll definitely look into working on those. If you'd like to see me put these puzzles together and others that I've shown in my other puzzle haul videos, be sure to subscribe so that you can follow me along my jigsaw journey and to keep up to date with other puzzles that I pick up along the way. Well guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.